Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and having a fantastic week. We are having a very weird week. We're on like our third storm of the week, which is really annoying because it means I can't film. Um, like trees are flying everywhere, fence panels and everything. So I've had to just pick today to film um, because I've put it off and there's just no day where there's not crazy weather. So hopefully you can hear me and not the crazy wind and stuff. Um, but we are gonna get straight into today's video, which is very exciting. Um, I'm going to be unboxing some Canadian bird toys. Now, I was sent this amazing package here by Veronica. You may have seen her account on Instagram for her birds, Elsie and Stella. Um, and she is one of my followers, subscribers, and patrons over on Patreon. And she very, very, very generously sent me this lovely box of goodies. I was really blown away. Obviously, I don't expect anything like this from you guys. I just want to help educate people on parrot care, but I was really blown away by her generosity. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Veronica. Um, I'm really, really excited to try these goodies in here with the birds. Also crazy lighting as well. So we're really kicking off with it today. Um, but yeah, these toys are from Feathered Addictions. And this is a shop that I've admired for a really long time they have incredible natural bird toys there's loads of theming and they're just amazing so I'm really excited to show you what's in the box definitely go and check them out after this video they obviously ship to Canada because they're Canadian they also ship to the US and they do ship globally as well um, obviously prices are going to vary depending on where you are and that kind of thing and customs but do go and check out the website because they've got amazing amazing toys so let's get straight into this massive box also actually let's do a shout out to David because he very generously as well bought me a lovely desk because I'm getting such backache trying to do work um, elsewhere in the house so um, I've really been sport rotten this week so I'm very very lucky anyway let's get into the bird toys so I don't actually know the names of all these toys unfortunately they don't say it on the ticket but um, here is the first one and I believe this is balsa yeah it's definitely balsa this is a, a lovely cluster of balsa finger traps and cork pieces uh, oh there's also a little um, like palm leaf star at the bottom this looks like so much fun I know that my birds are really gonna love this it's all materials they really enjoy lovely soft materials because we say this a lot with exceptions generally speaking for birds like cockatiels and conyers you want to go for really soft woods because they're a lot easier to shred um, some birds can do really well with the hardwood like olive loves thin slats of hardwood but for most cockatiels and conyers they'd be a bit lazy and also just that material is just so hard they don't really want to interact with it so toys like this with the corkwood with the balsa finger traps that kind of stuff is perfect so i think with these toys um I'm just going to do what I normally do where, you know, one bird will have it one day and then we'll kind of switch it around because we like to share in this house. Um, but yeah, really excited to see what they think of this one. We also have some kind of toy parts and stuff in this uh, lovely box. So this is really exciting. We have got, she also left me lovely, beautiful little tickets on here to let me know what everything is, which is so, so sweet. Um, so the yellow um, kind of stringy material here is uh, wheatgrass and the green one is seagrass. Now it's really hard to get seagrass in the UK. You can get kind of pre-made large mats, but you can't get like the bits and pieces. I'm gonna show you some other things later, but I'm really excited to see what I can kind of craft with this. Olive is watching me from afar and she's really eyeing it up. She's like, what is that? I wanna play with that. Cause she loves long things like this. Sometimes I will literally just cut off a piece of similar material that we can get in the UK, like palm leaf of a, a long strip and I'll just kind of hang it from the roof and she'll kind of grasp it and play with it. So this is gonna be a lot of fun to do that with that and also make toys out of. The next toy is another kind of balsa finger trap concoction and we've also got these uh, willow rattan balls again my birds love these balls one thing i will say though is if your bird obviously likes them and you give these to your birds i don't always recommend having them in the cage when you have to leave the house because sometimes these unravel birds can kind of get a little bit stuck sometimes they can get their feet stuck doesn't mean they're not a great toy part they're fantastic but i prefer to just err on the side of caution just because I'm anxious um, but yeah these are really really great toy parts and um, this looks like a really fun toy I'm thinking maybe chip and fish will probably like this one best because they like to kind of pull bits up like that and grasp it and chew it and stuff but yeah really really awesome there's a little kind of wooden block up the top there or two um, so this is really really exciting Staying on the theme of kind of balsa and willow, we've got this beautiful kind of little wreath almost. Um, again, I think chip and fish are gonna really like this. They do like the willow balls out of all of my birds the best, uh, but all of them love the kind of soft woods and stuff. So again, it's all gonna be rotated, but I think they're gonna enjoy this one the most. Um, lovely colors and yeah, it's a lot of fun. Next up, I really like this one. I think it's intended to look like a sandwich. Um, if it's not, then that's obviously me just being hungry but um this is really fun as i said they do have a lot of kind of themed toys on there they had this amazing one in the summer of like 
um, a willow kind of palm tree like island set up they've got like a tractor on there at the moment absolutely love that even if it's just to kind of please me rather than birds but anyway um it looks like a sandwich whether it is or not i don't know um it's got these kind of maize um circles it's got i'm not sure if this is maize or seagrass um i think it's maize um, and then some tissue paper in there as well, palm leaf. This looks like a lot of fun. You could um, hang it on a bit of string in the cage. It could be on the floor as like a toy that they can kind of play over. And of course, with mats like these, you can hide little treats in there. Really like this. I think this is a lot of fun. Um, and I think all of the birds are gonna like this actually. For some little toy parts, she also sent us these um, little bits of cork. Some of them have holes in, I think maybe they all do, I'm not sure. But um, these are really cool because we can't really get these in the UK. Or if you do, you have to be really careful with the source because some cork isn't actually all natural and it has like plastic and stuff in. But this is all natural cork and we can make toy parts out of it or it can go in the foraging tray. Um, but again, lovely soft wood and it's going to be awesome to see what the birds think of it. And also they can hold it in their feet because they're quite small. So I think the conyers might enjoy kind of just holding them and shredding them. Now I said there was more seagrass coming, um, we've actually got two seagrass mats that are just kind of plain ones, so I can make my own, which is really exciting, she also sent me a few finger traps, um, I think I might actually make this into a video, um, I have the UK equivalent which are maze mats, which are okay, you mean you can still make toys out of them, but they're not as kind of um, easy to use I suppose, they haven't got as many holes and stuff, so really excited to make my own, I think um, I'm probably due another DIY toy video so we'll give these a go and we'll give the UK equivalent a go too, um, so I'm really excited to think of some ideas of what I can put on these guys and uh, again see what the birds think too. Next we have some solar sticks uh, with the bark, uh, again these can be kind of foot toys, Olive is dancing in the background, she's desperate for these toys, uh, it's very distracting. Uh, so these have got the bark on, again it's another really really soft wood, again another one that seems to be impossible to get in the UK which is really exciting that I can try this with the birds, um, but yeah these look lots of fun, I could probably drill some holes in if they haven't got them already and put them onto toys or just have them in foraging trays, always lots of different ideas with toy parts. Next up we have more toy parts, we've got little palm stars, these are very good for again foraging trays or making toys, you can kind of um, thread something through the centre there and then hang it onto a toy, um, my birds have had these before, lots of fun. Next up we've got some seagrass twig bundles, these are very good for like a preening toy or you can take them apart if your bird likes running around with sticks, I know Fish absolutely loves just running around with like bits of straw in his mouth, as in like paper straws not um, bedding straw. But um, yeah, these look like lots of fun again, so you can't get in the UK. Um, but um, lots of different opportunities with these, lots of different things that we can do. We can probably pull apart the little um, bits of the seagrass and hide stuff into. So again, I think, I think maybe fish is gonna like these bits, but all of the birds like kind of preening toys. Next up we have this, which is a seagrass um, picking and chewing mat. This is really cool. I mean, this can be hung on the side of the cage and you can even make it into like a kind of busy mat type thing and poke things through. You could have it on the floor and your birds can pick it that way. Um, you could just have it on the side of the cage and you could just pick it as it is. Um, it just, yeah, it looks really fun and I think that all the birds will probably enjoy this. Um, not quite sure how I'm gonna offer it yet. I think maybe to start off on the floor with the boys um, and then we'll see how we get on and then um, I'll see how I go with the seagrass mats and if I can make them look semi-decent. Uh, otherwise this might be made into a busy mat as well. And the final items are super, super exciting, which are cork bark um, perches. These two have all the contraptions on so they can be perches. These two are just um, cork bark bits that your birds can chew on. I'm just gonna put them back in here so I can actually hold everything. But these are awesome. We've got a long one here um, and this wood is obviously very, very soft. So again, lots of fun, but it's got loads and loads of texture on it as well. This one's kind of like a, a platform flat perch. You can either have it this way up, you can have it that way up, it doesn't really matter, but very, very excited to try these. Um, again, something you can't really get in the UK. You can get reptile kind of um, cork bark, but I don't really trust where it is, like where it's from and um, if it's, you know, been contaminated with anything because our birds are a little bit more sensitive. So I'm really, really um, looking forward to putting these in the cages. I'm not sure who's going to get what. I think maybe Jim and Fish will get the flat one and maybe Olive can have this one and then Scampi and Pickles can have the bits to chew on or I can find a way of kind of hanging them in the cage. But um, this was really, really awesome to get as part of the lovely goodies that Veronica sent. So I think that we should go and see what the birds think of some of these toys. Initial first impressions of these lovely goodies.
birds seem to be very curious about the goodies. Um, Obviously it's going to take a bit of time for them to get used to new toys, but um, I know they're going to enjoy it once they get used to them. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much to Veronica for sending these lovely goodies. Uh, totally unexpected and very, very generous of you. Um, go and check out Elsie and Stella on Instagram, I have a link below. They're absolutely gorgeous little cockatiels and lots of fun. Um, let me know how you're doing in the comments as well. Um, I'd love to hear from you. We seem to have not blown away in the storms, that's always a good thing. There'll be more videos out very soon on my channel, so stick around. Uh, but in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Take care and see you later.